There was a lot of excitement this week about Tom Brady's cliff jump in Costa Rica. I watched this video and it looked rather familiar to me. And it's because I jumped off the same cliff back in 2008. A lot of my friends asked me, how high is that cliff? And how fast were you going when you hit the water? Well, physics in fact tells us the answer. If we step through the video frame by frame, we can calculate exactly how long I'm in the air, and then we can use that information to calculate how high the waterfall is, and how fast I'm going when I hit the water. So let's try it. Okay, let's start counting right when my foot leaves the rock. And if I'm jumping horizontally, this will be a good measure for how high it is. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. It looks like 23, I just start to hit the water. That's when we first see a splash. So if we know the frame rate of the camera, then we can calculate how long in the air I am. And it turns out that this camera is 15 frames per second. So the time is going to be 23 frames divided by 15 frames per second. And that's gonna tell me how long in the air I am and if you run those numbers, you get 1.53 seconds. Now to calculate the height of the waterfall, we remember that the height is 1 half gt squared. If you drop a rock from a height h, it will be in the air for a time t, and it's related by this. If you throw the rock horizontally, it's the same thing. So as long as my jump was relatively horizontal, this will be a good measure of how high the waterfall is. Okay, but we know what G is. It's 9.8 meters per second squared. We know what T is now. It's 1.53 seconds. And we have to remember that we're squaring it. And if you run those numbers in your calculator, you should get 11.5 meters. And if you look up the conversion for meters to feet, this works out to be 38 feet. That's a pretty high waterfall. All right, how fast are you going when you hit the water? Again, we can use physics to tell us the answer. We know that you start vertically from a rest, you're not jumping up or down, and so your vertical speed is just going to be related to gravity in this manner here, V equals G times T. We know what G is, it's 9.8 meters per second squared. We know what T is, 1.53 seconds. And if we multiply that out, what do we get? We get about 15 meters per second. And if you look up the conversion from meters per second to miles per hour, that works out to be 33 miles per hour. That's hitting the water reasonably fast, and I can tell you from experience, your feet hurt. All right, that's it for today. Uh, cheers. Cheers.